Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to talk about the page and button link options within the new responsive framework. Now in front of me I have the directory theme, however the process is exactly the same for all of the premium press themes, so I'm just using the directory theme as an example. As you can see in this, in this, in this theme we've got the submit listing option at the top, and when I click it, nothing's happened. And this is because the actual button link here hasn't been set up. So what we do to set up the button links is we go into the admin of our theme, under the general setup tab, we click on page and button links. Now, here you can see the options that are available. We've got my account, callback and add listing. So basically what we're doing is we're assigning all of the buttons with my account to this page here, all of the buttons with a callback to this page here, and all the buttons with the add listing, which is the same as the submit listing button to this page here. As you can see there's a red cross and it indicates that basically there hasn't been a page assigned to this button. So we will simply scroll down, select the appropriate page and then click save changes at the bottom of the page. Now when I go back to my website and refresh, the submit page button link starts to work. So how do we set up these pages? So back into the admin error again on the general setup page and, list, um, page and button links, we're going to set up our own page for each one of these. So we click on the pages option in the admin and as you can see there's a list of existing pages. So if I went ahead and delete all of these just for demonstration purposes, trash and, and empty my trash, go back to my theme options general setup, page and button links, as you can see now there's no page assigned to any of these options because we have no pages on our website. So as in a default install, if these options aren't in setup for you already, you can go ahead and follow the options now to go ahead and set up your own page. So we go back to the pages section, we click on add new page, we give it a title, it doesn't really matter but something descriptive so we know what it is, so say my account. And on the right hand side under page attributes we need to select the template that's appropriate for this page. So since we're creating a my account we would scroll down and select the page template for my account. Click on publish and we do the same again for the callback and the submit listing. So submit listing. On the right under page template we scroll down and click on add which is the same as the submit listing. Under the page options again, all pages, add new and we go callback. And the callback page is the page the users return to after they make a payment. So again we select um, with the callback page option. So payment callback and click on publish. Okay, so those are the three pages, so if I go out to theme, theme options, general setup, page and button links, we can now start assigning the, the uh, page options to the links. So my account will go to my account, callback goes to callback, and the add listing goes to the submit listing page. Scroll down, click on save changes, and obviously when you go back to your website, the, these buttons will then be assigned to the links you've set in the admin here. So when you click on them, they go to the correct corresponding page. 